Let's look at some electrolytes, okay, and see if we can figure out if they're strong, weak, or non-electrolytes. So the question is then identify the following as strong, weak, or non-electrolytes. Okay, so we're going to go through all of these. So let's start with um, A and ABR, sodium bromide sodium sulfate C let's go ahead and take um, CH3 OH okay and then we have something like um, hydrochloric acid okay AQ so you look at the first one and you identify this compound as ionic all right and so if it's ionic it's going to be um, dissociated completely in water so if it's dissociated in water then it is a strong electrolyte okay and so um, that's how you work through this problem Na2SO4 sodium sulfate again this is ionic okay it will dissociate in water and therefore this is also a strong electrolyte CH3OH, this is covalent. All the elements in this one, in this compound, are uh, non-metals, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen again, all covalent. So no dissociation. And if there is no dissociation, then this is a non-electrolyte. Okay. Um, let's look at the next one. HCl. HCl is an acid, hydrochloric acid. And as we learned, all, hydro all acids will dissociate in water. And the dissociation in water is not because of uh, the fact that they're ionic, but because it is an acid. Okay, and because it's an acid and it dissociates in water, this is going to be a strong electrolyte. Okay, so that's how you decide which one is strong, which one is non, and which one is a weak electrolyte. Weak are very few, just the weak acids and weak bases. Okay, so let's try another problem. Same kind where we have strong, weak, um, and non-electrolyte. But now we're going to compare something a little bit different. Okay, so we're going to take 1.0 molar sodium chloride, 1.2 molar potassium chloride, 1.0 molar sodium sulfate, and then we will take um, something like 0 0.75 lithium Chloride. Okay, so how do you decide in this case? Okay, which is going to be a good electrolyte or not? All right, so you look at this as this is one molar and you have Na plus and Cl minus. Okay, in here 1.2 molar, this is a little higher concentration, and so this one still has um, one potassium and then one chloride. All right, this is one molar. And this one is two sodium ions and then one sulfate, okay? And then we have um, 0 0.75, which is low concentration. And so you have lithium ion and then a chloride ion, okay, in here. So when you're trying to compare this one, first of all, if you have a higher concentration of something, okay, it will have more ions in it. So these two are going to be really hard to decide with, but we're going to go ahead and decide for at least the lowest and the highest, okay? Um, so between NaCl, so if you have A, B, C, and D, okay? If you have these four compounds given to you, then you know that D is going to be less than A, okay? Because D has lower concentration okay of uh, ions in there and because they're both one ions in there okay mono ions so you have mono cation mono anion therefore uh, d is going to be less than a if you were to decide between a and b okay so between a and b which one will be higher then b will be higher than a all right it is almost criminal to expect that you can do a comparison between B and C, okay? So that's not a very good comparison, so we're not going to do that, all right? So no comparison over here unless you have more information, so you cannot do this, okay, right now. So between A and B, 
uh, B is higher than A. Okay, so D is less than A, A is higher than D, however you want to look at it. And then let's look at between A and C. Okay, so in A we have NaCl, all right, same concentration as in C, which is sodium sulfate. Now sodium sulfate has more ions in it and therefore it should be a better conductor. Okay, so C is higher than A. Okay, in that respect. So that is kind of how you decide, okay, whether something is going to be um, a better electrolyte or not, okay, given the number of ions in there and the concentration. Okay.